What's happening, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Games and Grabs podcast. Sunny G here with Finn Steele. Finn, Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm well, thank you very much. Excellent. So, I feel like we're... I mean, Viz said in our Discord that we were sort of getting a podcast out every two weeks, which uh, is some sort of consistency. We just need to yeah. get it down a little bit. A little bit. Well, something seems to go on, go, seems to happen. Uh, my work's just yeah. all over the place at the minute, so it's hard to know when exactly we can record consistently. We'll figure it out. We'll f- we will figure it out. But the key is we are still putting podcasts out. We're recording podcasts, yes. That's good. And that, that, That's the most important thing. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Finn, I have to ask. Go on, um, you're, you're a shopkeep. I am, unfortunately. Um, have people been adhering to the mask rule this week? Ha, no. <laughs> no, really? Uh, there's a lot more masks, but there's still the occasion of the idiot who comes in without one. Oh, sorry, I forgot my mask. Of course he did. Well, so, there's a lot of people just doing like doing this because they forgot. They like, put their seat over their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm, I've ordered a cool mask, but I'm, I've got a black one at the minute. Mm. Um, I'm walking around like a shit noob cyber. Yeah. <laughs> <combat>. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I want to get one. I was looking at some like game, gamer uh, ones. Like, it's cool, like the Pac-Man one. So I might get, might get that. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. There are some cool ones. I mean, let's be fair. I mean, masks are going to be around for, you know, a little while now. Mm, a little bit. I did put the idea out on Twitter that we could get some uh, A-Up bloke ones made. <laughs> A-Up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that is now. Blog. Oh, yeah. Blog. Hey, oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yo. Blog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be pretty funny. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy one. <laughs> Put all like one there. Hey, mask makers, let's uh, let's make this happen. I'm sure there's a website somewhere where you can make your own masks. Yeah, we'll donate some money to charity or some shit. Yeah, there we go. There you go. <laughs> Just make sure you go on, order some A hey, up masks <laughs> for games and craps. A hey, up the hook. Hey, old bloke. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, before we... Um, we've got a fair bit to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Um, but before we do, I just want to uh, congratulate uh, a listener of ours, yeah. Squinny. Um, he posted something just a couple of days back that uh, really, really stood out to me. Um, he won Child of the Year. Wow, impressive. Back in 1990. That's now, we're, going, we're, we're going back, you know, some some time here. So we're, you know, we're twenty years late to the party, but you know, I feel like congratulations is still in order. That's that's a pretty huge thing. Pretty yeah. Impressive. Um. He he posted a clip from the the local newspaper. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to read this to you. So I'm just going to read the first line to you. Okay. A Hereford boy has beaten off 1,850 other youngsters to take the title of Hereford and Worcestershire Child of the Year. Wow. That's impressive. Not gonna lie, it beats yeah. my record. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what my record is for how many people I've beaten off, but I mean, to beat off one thousand eight hundred and fifty people <laughs> is pretty impressive. It is. That yeah, must take a while. Yeah, I mean, um, we did reach out to Squiddy to, you know, um, ask just just for him to comment on this, you know, wonderful achievement of beating off so many people to win this prestigious award. <laughs> Um, and for the first time ever in Games and Grouts podcast history, um, we were left a voicemail on um, what was previously a very empty inbox. So, uh, yes. Finn, I believe you've got that uh, queued up. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just here. Hello. Yeah. Sonny and Finn can't take your call right now as you're busy doing nothing. Please leave a message and we might get back to you. Maybe. Mm. Well, probably not. Hey, up. Care to attempt a high score, bloke? Oh, this guy again. What? Ugh, for God's sake, he gets, we told him no. We don't believe don't high scores. <clears throat> so, th- we've been challenged to get a high score of 1,850 people to beat off. I mean, we could try. I mean, I'm down to viewer. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, it must be a Guinness World Record. We'll have to draft Guinness in and, you know, get the official confirmation. But if it is the record... I think we can probably beat it. I think I think we could. Yeah, just get... no pun intended. <laughs> uh, reach out on Twitter. Um, get some people involved. Line yeah, up. So yeah, so just hit us up on Twitter. Um, you know, at Games and Graps. Use the hashtag Beat Off Challenge. <laughs> and uh, if you want to get involved, if you want to be beaten off by me and Finn, <laughs> um, use the hashtag Beat Off Challenge on Twitter. Perfect. 
But congratulations, Squinny, on your prestigious award 20 years ago. It's a tremendous, tremendous feat. Yes. And congratulations. Um, we're... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Congratulations, Squinny. We, we, uh, we really appreciate you beating so many people up. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yes, absolutely. I like how someone's walked behind you as you said that. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. No, I don't care. This is... <laughs> That's what this podcast is all about. Absolutely. Beating people off. Predictability. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beating people off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what a way to start the show. Yeah, <laughs> but the best way. That's where you. That's you know, it's the best way to start a show. I, I agree. It. Yeah, that, that's why this podcast is so unique, and why we should be up for all of the awards. Yes, podcast of the millennium. Yeah. Mm. Remember that when people thought planes were going to fall out of the sky and shit. <laughs> I mean, they didn't. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, apparently not. Oh. Or did they, and they were covered up by the government conspiracy? Oh. Hmm. Did you see that thing this week about? I mean, I only found out about this yesterday. A friend of the show, Steve, was telling me that um, the U.S. government have like released information about them like having like UFOs. Oh wow! Yeah, is it legit? What do you think about that? Well, apparently, um, I mean, if, yeah, apparently the Pentagon are going to really, not the wrestler Pentagon, he's, he yeah. has nothing to do with this, <laughs> before you go incriminating Pentagon Jr. in any of that stuff. Um, but apparently, yeah, I mean, apparently the Pentagon are going to release some more information about this. Uh, but you notice how this has been released, but no one's talking about it. Hmm, interesting. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, they'll find, um, you know, where my family went, you know, my alien family. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> maybe they've gone up to space to be anally probed. Maybe, maybe. Or beaten off. <laughs> beaten off anally. Hmm. Oof. That sounds painful. That's rough. Yeah. That, that's, that's rough. Ouch. Yeah. Not a good way to go. No, no, probably not. To be like, I mean, that's even if you go. I mean, if you don't go, you have to live with that forever. Yeah. They're like, oh, so what happened to you last night? Well, it's a funny story. <laughs> I was, uh, I was I was beaten off anally. Yeah. Oh, I did wonder why you were walking so funny. Yeah. <laughs> By aliens. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. What, aliens exist? Yeah, yeah. Did you not hear what Pentagon Jr. said? <laughs> oh, I did, actually. Yeah, I did. Uh, anyway. Good stuff. Oh, did you also we hear about the... Uh, the monkeys with chainsaws? What's this? Apparently, there's... I can't remember where it was, but they like like a whole, like a massive gang of monkeys and like stolen lots of random things that had like like, like <laughs> machetes and like chainsaws just got somewhere. It's like... Is that 2020? Right. Yeah, that sounds about right. 2020. You know, yeah, so happens. aliens exist. The planet of the apes is, <laughs> you know, officially starting. Yeah. And well, we are going to attempt to beat off over 1,850 people. That sounds about right. Um, it's also, yeah, 2020. Yeah. What a time. Also, a bit of a gaming-related 2020 news. Um, apparently, uh, people in Japan have been posting about uh, their PSPs uh, exploding. Apparently, they're oh. bat- yeah, apparently long left like, old PSPs. The batteries have started swelling up and some stuff's exploding for no reason. So, oh. yeah, look out for that. I might dig out my PSP later and have a look. No, don't. I, don't, I, want, <laughs> I want that face to be maintained for <laughs> the, the podcast that we record in a, any amount of days' time. <laughs> yeah, in 7, 14 ish days' time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, is this going to be, is this our first podcast of, will this be go out before August? No, no. So, Oh, I can't. I can't words today. So um, we yes. will we bring another podcast out before the first of August is what I'm trying to say. Uh, no. Okay. I, keep up keep I guess we should do the releases as well because that that's always such a popular feature. True. True. This podcast. If we do it weekly, it'll be the yeah 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 we'll do it now. Um, so I'm prepared. I need I'm prepared. I need to get my. Well, we list. don't need to do it right now because we've not officially started the podcast yet. All we've done is just true. talk bubble for the last. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how many minutes we've been recording just yet. True. It's being on my list. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, what well, have you been playing? Uh, oh, right. You're asking me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm asking you while I find the uh, list. Uh, <laughs> I, I I like it. Smart. Um, yeah. So uh, I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. There's uh, there's not really been much said about it. No screenshots posted on the internet or nothing like that. Just some like, little indie game? Yeah, it's a small indie game. Um, you ride on a horse and have a sword. Nice. It's... Is Quite it a, good. Is it a roguelike um, Metroidvania survival game? Uh, it is all of those things rolled into one. Yeah, great. Not many of those around. Uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, Ghost of Tsushima is is really good. 
Um, I know that's probably an understatement. People are really enjoying it. Uh, I am really enjoying it. It's a beautiful game. Uh, plays fantastic. Um, yeah, it's, it's just so good. I mean, you would have seen millions of screenshots on the internet. I honestly don't think I've ever seen a game have more screenshots shared than Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, there's loads. Every time on Twitter, there's like a bunch of new screenshots. It's very pretty. Yeah, I mean, the f- it's because I mean the photo mode's super accessible. All you literally all you do is press right on the D pad, oh, wow. opens the photo mode up, and you can just sort of go from there. But it's um, it's it's a really special game. Sucker Punch have done a, a a fantastic job of you know of just putting that world together. And the one thing I love about Sucker Punch, I mean they made the infamous games. Yeah. So one, two, Second Son, and First Light. Uh, what I love is how they. Um, especially with the PS4, because obviously there's more to it, but um, they the way that they incorporate the controller. Oh yeah, like every single part of the controller. I mean, there's, you know, there's stuff coming through the speaker. Use the touchpad a lot, and oh, cool. uh, there's just I just like the way that they do that because they did the same with Infamous as well. Mm. Now I, you played Second Son, right? Yeah, they love them. Like with the graffiti parts where you sort of spray paint on the wall and use the controller and you shake it and it makes the noise. Yeah, yeah, the spray That's cam. Um, but it's cool because, you know, not a lot of developers use all of the features that the DualShock 4 has. Yeah, not many at all. I mean, touchpad usually brings up a map. Yeah, to touch Maybe. it like a button. Yeah. Yeah. But um, very few actually use the PS4 controller to its full capability. But Sucker Punch really do, and they've done a, a tremendous job. Uh, that obviously is not, you know, that's just a small part of the game. The game's huge. I've... You know, I've been playing it for hours and I still haven't finished Act One. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that a lot on, on Twitter saying, and I've done all this cool stuff, but we still haven't beaten, you know, anywhere, anything in the story. Yeah, I've done like a couple of story missions and then I've just been sort of wandering off doing other stuff, following foxes to <laughs> shrines and following singing birds and stuff. And it's, a, it's just a. It's just a great game, lots to do, and it feels very relaxing to play as well. Cool. Yeah, I like those relaxing games. I feel like that's Stranding when you just uh, like, did wander around, you know, the empty world, the living things, mm. don't have to think about anything. It's nice. Yeah, I mean, the, the combat's super intense, but the, the combat is really satisfying at the same time. Mm. Uh, it's just great. Great sword play. Um, yeah, it's it's really fantastic. Awesome. Good stuff. Anything yeah. else? Um, I've been playing... We're allowed to talk about it now, uh, but... Um, Destroy All Humans comes out tomorrow. Mm. So this is the 27th of July now. It comes out on the 28th. Nice. Um, it's the remake of the game that came out of the PS2. Yeah, yeah. Never played it. Uh, it's Back really good. Day. Really funny. Um, gameplay, it's, it's basically just a better looking version of the game that came out on the PS2 and the original Xbox. Yeah. I bet they tied up the uh, controls as well. Which is nice. Yeah, it, feel, it feels a little tighter to play, and the menus are feel a, look a little bit cleaner. Cool. Um, but you know, if you, if you enjoyed it back then, you'll enjoy it now, and it just looks better and plays a little bit better. Really? Um, in no no way is that a, a bad thing. Yeah, good. Uh, I know. It, I know it has quite a, quite a cult following. Oh yeah, definitely. They've done one of those games I hear, you know, quite a lot about when it's, when it you know when it gets bought up, people are very fond of it. So it's good to see that uh, get re released on the modern consoles. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and it's super funny, you know. Uh, the humor obviously is maybe a little bit outdated, but <laughs> I still found myself chuckling along because I'm immature and yeah. it's fine. It was really uh, hard. <laughs> so you get the humor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's about. I mean, maybe we could ask them about your family that got abducted and nearly beaten off. Mm, maybe, maybe I'm we'll going on the phone. Maybe. Yeah, but it's uh, so basically you play as an alien. Um, you want to take over Earth and. Uh, there's cows involved and people and all sorts of different weapons and anal probing and <laughs> it, there's so much it's such a fun game to play um i mean it sounds mental when you describe it the way i've just described it but it's uh it's a really cool game and it's a really good remake of uh just a good solid game is, is it a 10 out of 10 game no obviously it isn't <laughs> but it does get the games and graps silver seal of approval it's good logos for this eventually oh you know what? i don't even think we've mentioned it oh yeah I think we now. mentioned the seal of approval one time. Maybe. But um, when we re- when we do like reviews of games, what we're going to do is we're going to give them a seal of approval. Mm-hmm. Uh, so obviously, platinum, I guess, is the the highest order. We'll go like PlayStation trophy system. Sounds good. 
Um, platinum, so platinum, platinum yeah. gold, silver, bronze, and then wood. <laughs> it's garbage here. Rotten wood. Yeah, wood. That that means it's shit. It's yeah, really shit. The platinum's like the best but, of the best, and the wood is yeah. just the worst garbage. Yeah, but uh, destroy all humans. Far from garbage. Good it's, stuff. Uh, so I guess the silver games can grab seal of approval. I'll get make a sound effect for next time. Yeah, we're going to stamp with that made, and what we can do is we can put it on the cover art, and like we can put it on Twitter and stuff. Cool, that's good to me. Um, our Twitter game has been stepped up recently as well. I've been trying yes. to really keep on top of it. Yeah, good stuff. I like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm crap yeah, at this stuff, too. so I'm glad one of us are doing it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I enjoy <laughs> doing it. I have a lot of fun with that Twitter account. Awesome. Yeah, I saw us. Some really good stuff on there. Just trying to retweet, Thanks, man, eh? retweet as much as I can. Yeah, that's cool. Not anyone pays well, attention to my <laughs> Twitter thing, but never mind. Well, you're a super popular human being, Finn. Don't well, sell yourself so short. This is true. This is true. Yeah, very, very <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, yeah, but to be honest, that's pretty much all I've been playing. Um, I've been flitting around between a couple of other games. I've been, um, been trying to play Session on Xbox, uh, uh, yeah. which is a skateboarding game in early access. And it's just really bloody difficult. <laughs> It's really hard. You fall over all the time and it's annoying. Um, I like the idea of it. I'm just not very good at it. Uh, so I've been playing Skate 3 as well, which I do have oh, on yeah. Xbox as backwards compatible. Awesome. And Skate 3 is still amazing. Yeah. Still so good now. I mean, Skater XL comes out tomorrow. Um, I've heard mixed things from people who have played the early access version on the PC. Ew. It looks great, but, um, you know, I think it's going to be quite difficult to topple skate three in terms of like sim ish games yeah i think the fact that it's coming out so close to like tony hawk and skate four i think it's been announced i feel like people are going to pass over that and just wait for tony, these new you know more recognizable names yeah i mean t- the tony hawk remakes are gonna they're gonna they're gonna do really well mm. i mean that's, that's probably probably a slight understatement but they, they're gonna do they're gonna do great and they look great and they'll play like tony hawk always does which is Great. So, yeah. <clears throat> cool. Uh, but otherwise, that's about it. What about you? What have you been playing this week? Um, I've pretty much only been playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, trying to get through that. Still trying plowing to, through it. Trying to tick all the boxes. Yeah, I'm pretty much like you are with Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I've we played not much of the story. I've been like, collecting like little collectibles, and little side quests. Then I thought, you know, I'm going to go off and do the uh, the um, Frozen Wild DLC. Get what the cool items are that. Like all the new powered up stuff you get, so I can use that in the main game. So I've gone and done that. Pretty much, I've hundred percent, well, a hundred percented the Frozen Wilds. It's nice. a very good, okay. very good expansion, by the way. So definitely play it. Um, yeah, I need to. It's very, very cool. Um, so yeah, I've done that. I'm back in the main area now, just collecting things and ticking boxes, basically. I like it. Excellent. You still enjoying it? Yeah, big time. I'm horribly over leveled right now. I'm like head level fifty five in like, <laughs> and the game's like giving me level twenty something quests. But it's like, this is fine. I can just kill everything <laughs> super easily. You're just super OP. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but no, I like it. It's still, even though it's, you're still pretty OP, it still you know gives you a challenge. Mm-hmm. The monsters are still uh, you know tough to kill, to take down. And like I always, f- I found with Horizon that each and every area that you go to is just super breathtaking. Yeah, yeah, so pretty. Like in the Frozen Wilds, in the like machine area you go to, there's so many like awesome look, like the colors are like super bright and vibrant. Mm. And the environment's so you know awesome. So, so pretty. Yeah. Fantastic game. Easily mm. one of the best of the generation. I think it's going to be quite difficult when we come to do um, a Games of the Generation podcast. Yeah, it's going to be, going to be a tough know, one. We will do it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a tough one. It is. Hmm. We'll see. Mm. Yeah, I, I'd quite like to do um, a, a top PS1 games one as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can go through them all. Go through different consoles. PS1, you know, PS2, 64. Yeah. Double just up. like release them as like special episodes, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'll In the build up to our best PS4 games. Yeah. Sounds good. Good plan. It sounds like a good plan that we'll try and execute. Yes, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But no, we will. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah, we'll do that. That'd be quite interesting, actually. We'll start with the PS1, obviously, then uh, work our way up to best games of the generation. Cool. Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. So, right. what else have you been playing, or is that it? Uh, that's about it, really, I think. Yeah. Every yeah. time I think, oh, I'm going to play a game, I'll go straight to Horizon. I think, all right, tick some more boxes, collect some more things, get through it, get them all trophies. I mean, that just shows how good Horizon is, though. I love when a game is like that. You think, oh, okay, I'm going to, you know, I feel like maybe playing 
this game. But then as soon as you put it on and see that thumbnail for the game, you're like, I'm going to play that. Definitely. Yeah, I'll just play that. Then you just go straight back to it. But that, I've been like that with Ghost of Tsushima as well. It's just sort of, you just want to play it. You know, you want to go exploring and, and you know, all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's, you know, those games are just, just unbelievable. Yeah. So good. Very addictive. Side note, actually, um, Kaylee's actually playing through, has just played through The Last of Us, the first one. Oh, very nice. The Last of Us remastered. She's just finished that. First game she's ever sort of finished. Wow. She's not a gamer. Well done. Well done. Well done. Very good. Yeah. Round of applause for Kay. Well done. <laughs> and um, as we speak, as we record this podcast, she's currently making her way through The Last of Us Part 2. Ooh, very nice. So she's, uh, yeah, she's, she's really enjoying it. Good stuff. I'm Which glad. Is good. It's, it's nice to it's nice to bring people to to new games, take people out of their comfort zone. Because you know, before she would just play a lot of Dead by Daylight, and she's great at it, better than any of us. <laughs> um, but now she's you know branched out and doing this, and she, she you know what? It's a, su- surprising really how quickly you know she managed to pick up the mechanics of it. Because The Last of Us does have a lot of sort of uh, a lot to it, hmm. especially with like crafting and you know all the stealth stuff with the clickers, and there's a lot to it. So it's quite impressive, really. Yeah, so it's cool that, you know, as you say, it's always cool to bring in new people to gaming in there. Mm. So it's a big way. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, and speaking of, actually, this is, um, we're going off on a tangent here, but this is, <laughs> this is my fault. But it's fine. Who cares? People love a long podcast. They do. They love a long one. They do love a long one. Especially when they're... It's so big and thick, it's really hard. Yeah. There's yeah. Big, <laughs> big and thick podcasts. Well, what... what? <laughs> That's courtesy of uh, Slam Anniversary. Yeah, what a <laughs> wonderful, what a wonderful soundbite that is. <laughs> so good, it's just, was just that, brilliant. Was that Squinny showed us that as well? It was actually, yeah. Yeah, so that Squinny. Yeah, it. this is like a, this is the Squinny episode of the podcast. It is. Yeah, he's all over it. <laughs> the Squinny show. It is the Squinny show. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Cartoon Network program. Yeah, it's like a Squinny show. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> I'm not sure Cartoon Network really have shows like that. Um, I don't know. Oh, but they're all, yay! Because the Cartoon Network stuff's always a bit grimier. Yeah. Yeah, I think it mean like Spongebob and things like that. That's no, yeah, Nickelodeon, John... wasn't it? Yeah, Spongebob's Nickelodeon. Stuff like Johnny Bravo and... Uh... Wasn't Johnny Bravo? Yeah. I can't remember. Johnny Bravo's Cartoon Network. Okay. It's yeah, been too so long. Are. It's been too long since I was, you know, a child. Too long. Yep. Yeah. We're old. <laughs> yeah, but we're, you know, we're living our best lives right now. We are. As childish adults. Yeah, we have a world famous podcast. So yeah. <laughs> I, I did look actually as to where our podcast is listened to. It's listened to in a few different places in America. Mm-hmm. That's what actually. They must like our accents or something. That must be it. Yeah. Uh, yeah Russia. Okay. Yeah, we're probably going to get killed at some point. <laughs> that's that's the, uh, the spying on us. Let's see if we've got any uh, those secrets. We haven't. Oh, well, actually, don't listen to the thing about the aliens that I said oh, yeah. earlier on. That was, that was made up. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Can't finish him, am I right? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it was so funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <there's> a... <laughs> and obviously, you know, we listen to it in this country. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I saw a couple. People listen to about 30 seconds of it. And, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I stick it. Um, yeah. I saw a couple um, in, like, I think it's like Africa. Um, nice. Which reminds me, like, like, I'm, I know. Congratulations on your new commentary in the, you know, the African promotion. <laughs> it was so a, weird, honestly. Big, right, big, I was uh, on big, big achievement for me. <laughs> it is big time. I feel like I deserve a round of applause for you it. You do, you do. Congratulations. <laughs> I love that woo in the background. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so <good>. yeah, woo! Yeah. <laughs> um, really happy. Yeah, it was so weird. Um, so I got a notification on my commentary page on Facebook. Um, basically, this like South African wrestling thing had shared my shared my post, like shared my profile picture on there, <laughs> and it, it, like just said BCW commentator. Yeah, I was like what? <laughs> <laughs> what are these people? What what is this? Why are they claiming me as one of their own? Yeah, that's strange. But it's so bizarre. What strange. a weird Flattering, thing. But strange. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not, nice to be thought of, but yeah, uh, yeah very strange. <laughs> and what's linked to the podcast? Obviously, with them, with them, you know, linked to the podcast, and they go, oh, it's that funny guy. He's doing a commentary. We'll bring yeah. him along. Yeah, we'll claim him. We won't tell him. <laughs> yeah, we'll claim him. He's ours now. Yeah, we'll share his post, and what? What? They'll probably like steal, 
like sound bites of my commentary and just piece it together over their <laughs> matches, maybe. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. This is, this is... Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, Joe Rogan. You know who that is, right? Uh, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> um, he commentates on UFC, he used to present Fear Factor, and he's a stand-up comedian and well-known podcaster. For those that don't know who he is, I know uh, if you've been living under a rock. Hello. Or if you're Finn. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll know if I saw him. I know the name. He basically said it's something on his podcast this week to uh, that said basically the video games were a waste of time. Oh, that guy, yeah. Uh, oh, you saw it? You saw the yeah. video? Yeah, yeah. But I think what he was saying is that it's a, a waste of... I think what he meant was it was a waste of time pursuing it as a career unless you are of a certain level already. So cause obviously he compared it to like people like doing martial arts and stuff like that and um, like opening your own schools and all that kind of thing um, and then making shitloads of money off it. Then he was like, video games are a waste of time. Yeah, I think... People I think... got their ass in their hands about it. I mean, I watched it and I was just like, yeah... I think he just came out wrong. I don't think that's what he quite what he meant. Well, he plays video games himself. Yeah, I think I think his point just came across, you know, wrong. He worded it, he worded it weird, and uh, but yeah, I, I see what he means. You know, as a hobby. Yeah, I, I mean, I understand. I understand exactly what he means. It's just, um, yeah, I think it just came out wrong, and people, like I say, got their ass in their hands a bit, and they got Ninja's opinion on it, and <laughs> all this sort of stuff. It's like, come on, it's really not that big of a deal. If you mm-hmm. enjoy playing video games. Then it's fine. It's not a waste of time to you. No, not waste of time. You know, it's completely okay. It's you know, it makes things better. You know, it's a distraction yeah. like anything else. People do take everything you know on face value these days, though. As soon as somebody says something that's you know not what they want to hear, oh yeah. shit! <laughs> but yeah, it's like you know the internet does that kind of thing all the time, don't they? Just uh, make a big deal. It does, of everything. Yeah, I mean, they, they take one thing and blow it way out of proportion. <laughs> Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, well, you know, internet. Um, God, we, we've we've rambled this week. We haven't done a rambling episode for a little while. Yeah, we waffled a bit. It's all good. We have a little bit, but it's. Um, I like these ones. Me too. Yeah, when we've actually got stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah, not just trying to make up the uh, time. Yeah, just just trying to like get an hour's worth of talking out. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through what's coming out in August. Yes, August 2020. All right. We know that this is everyone's favorite segment of the podcast. <laughs> it's definitely mine. Where we tear apart some of the truly terrible looking games that are coming out. Absolutely. Uh, right, so the first game we've got coming out on the 4th is a game called Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout on PC and PS4. Okay, so this has actually been announced right before we started recording as one of this month's PlayStation Plus titles. Oh, yeah. And basically, it looks really fun. We should definitely play it. Um, awesome. It's it looks like it's basically Takeshi's Castle, but in video game form. Oh right, okay. <laughs> it's it's literally that. It's li- it is literally that. Awesome. It looks great. It, lo- it looks really really fun. Sweet. I'm just trying to make up a screenshot or something now. Um, oh yeah, that's cute. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, actually, I, yeah. I watched the I watched the gameplay trailer for it um, before we started recording, and it, it looks fantastic. It, look, it looks really good fun. So. Cool. Um, Maybe we just like get a few of us together and just have a, a just have a, a party chat session of playing that game. So yeah, that looks fun. sounds good to me. Just wanted to finish over as well. Um, oh, speaking of the PlayStation Plus games, uh, Modern Warfare Two Remastered Campaign is the other free game this month. Right, just a campaign, not the multiplayer. Uh, they didn't bring the multiplayer out. Oh, weird. Oh yeah, yeah. They just remastered the campaign for Modern Warfare Two, and that's now coming out. All right, fair enough. Not, yeah, not, not what I'm going to play, but it's cool for you know. Call of Duty fans? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Awesome. Uh, what have we got next? Uh, we have two games coming out on the 7th. The first one is Fast and Furious Crossroads. Yeah, it's on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Really? Hmm. Fast and Furious as in the movie franchise? Uh, yep, looks like it. Right, I've not seen or heard. I've not seen one screenshot or a trailer or even heard that game <laughs> mentioned. Yeah. Anywhere. There's always like 47 movies coming out every year. Uh, Fast and Furious, so it's, you know, it's bound to come to um, video games eventually. Yeah, but come on. Uh, it's got I mean, <laughs> the cover art has Vin Diesel uh, in a car, drawing away from what looks like a massive tank and explosions and a police car. 
Right, I'm going to go out on the limb here and say that this game reviews so embarrassingly low that it just falls off the radar straight away. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Even cost? by the cover, it sounds shit. Yeah, and it's a full price game as well, forty nine ninety nine. Oof. Jesus, seriously? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, nobody's going to buy that game. Nope. Is it, is, is it like a mini movie coming out anytime soon? Does it come out with a movie? Uh, there's no movie coming out this year, but there's not many movies coming out this year anyway due to uh, the virus and stuff. But um, I think Fast and Furious 9 comes out next year. Hmm. Maybe this was originally going to be like a tie-in, but having got delayed, so maybe, you know, who knows? Either way, it's going to be rubbish. Yes. It's not going to be good. Don't buy it. Nope. Don't buy it. Well, actually, yeah, that's harsh of us, but, (laughs) you know, what's the point? Save your money. Yes. Um, also on the same day, a game we are just talking about, Horizon Zero Dawn comes out on PC, which is mm. pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Death Stranding just recently came out on PC as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cool that nerds get to try out the games <laughs> that we've been enjoying for a while. <laughs> yeah. I look forward to seeing like the 60 frames a second super high definition gameplay of it. Super pretty. Yeah, PC Master Race. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Keep burping. Um Cool. So that's that. Um, on the 11th, we have Risk of Rain 2, which is, hey, guess what? A roguelike on oh. PC, Switch, PS4, and Xbox. Okay. Uh, I've heard that the sounds. F- yeah. I've heard the first game. I don't remember if it was good. What's it called again? Uh, Risk of Rain. Oh, I can't tell you. Risk of Rain. Oh, so hard. Um, <laughs> Risk of Rain. Yeah, there you go. Um, like a weather forecast? or? Uh, it's got very high views. Um, hmm. It's. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to ex- like describe it really. Hmm, it's a third person roguelike adventure game, I guess. Okay. Um. Yeah, Steam's got to give it out a ten out of ten. Nice, which is a really big deal. That's a trailer you're hearing. Cheers, Steam. Mm. Um. <laughs> yeah. Try to find a like synopsis of it. Give me a synopsis. Synopsis. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Uh, a classic multi- oh, multiplayer. Multiplayer roguelike Risk of Rain returns with extra dimension and more challenging action. Play solo or team up with up to three friends to fight your way through hordes of monsters, unlock new loot, and find a way to escape the planet. Ooh. Mm. I mean, to be fair, the I mean, if the reviews are good for the first one, then you anticipate the second one's probably going to be good as well. But that yeah. synopsis is really basic. Pretty vague. Let's see if we can find the one for the first game. Yeah, it's gonna be the same words, <laughs> probably, just without the word returns. <laughs> Risk of Rain. Here we go. Oh, Dre, that. Thank you. Uh, Risk of Rain is an action platformer. <laughs> re- action platformer. Oh, this one didn't like a platformer. Oh, uh, with roguelike elements with permanent death as primary feature, players will have to play their best to get as far as possible. Fight on a mysterious planet with randomly spawning enemies and bosses, either alone or three friends in online co-op. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Roguelike. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all the roguelikes. This is good stuff. Um, then we have on the thirteenth, uh, a Total War Saga Troy on the PC. Uh, t- Total War is a like strategy game series on PC. Um, I guess this is like a spin-off on PC. Okay. Yeah, it's a turn-based action game. Troy, so it's uh, be set in the Brad Pitt movie of the same name. <laughs> that must be the one. Uh, let's find the synopsis. Uh, Wikipedia isn't very good for like giving me synopsis, so I have to copy paste it. Yeah, so I'm googling it on the fly. There you go. Uh, a Total War Saga Troy is the first in the award-winning strategy strategy series to focus on the Bronze Age Mediterranean and the legendary twenty-year <laughs> conflict between the kingdoms of Troy and some other word Greece, <laughs> known as the Trojan War. <laughs> um, some other word Greece. <laughs> <laughs> How's it spelled? Uh, Mike, hold on. Mike and the M Y C E N A E A N. Mycenaean. Mycenaean. Sure. Well, some other word. <laughs> some other word, yeah. Some um, other word, Grace. Okay. Yeah. According to Steam, it's coming out 2021. So thanks, Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then we have. Why are you, wiki- you Wikipedia the, the, the list of the games? First thing I came up. Uh, <laughs> Then we have on the 14th, maybe, uh, EA Sports UFC 4 on PS4 and Xbox One. That is coming out, but I don't know when. Yeah, according to this other website I have, it, it's, you know, it uh, confirms it. As oh, the, okay. Yeah. 14th of August. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, right, okay. So Tyson Fury is... He's a boxer, if you didn't know. Um, oh. He's a secret Maybe. fighter, or he's like a special pre-order fighter for the game. Just make a fucking boxing game. Just make Fight Night again. Fight yeah. Night's awesome. Night, Stop making night. UFC games. You don't need to make them. We understand. Yeah. Also, fix the submission system, because it sucks. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, it's terrible, yeah. Oh, God. It's, I think it's I played... so unintuitive, it's embarrassing. Oh, dear. Uh, I, would, I think I played one of the UFC games like years ago. I wasn't impressed. Yeah, you think you played it with me? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I think, think so. right, actually. Yeah, I think it might be for my YouTube channel a long, long time ago. Which I will yeah, arrive I think at some point. I think, I think it's uh, when we when we started doing some Sunny versus Finn videos. I think it's uh, on there. Yeah. Hmm, we should bring that back when the virus hmm. is gone. So in five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, when when all this is said and done and you know, we're in our 50s. <laughs> but no, we should bring it back to you and I'll you know, find a way to do it. I'm mm. driving it now, which is nice. Hmm. Oh, that's good. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. Cool. Uh, right, where was I? Oh, joy. On the 18th, we have, I know it's your favorite series, Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC. Mm-hmm. Yay. Is, is that only on PC? <laughs> uh, yes, only on PC. Because I, I know there is a version coming out on Xbox, but I think it might be coming out on the Series X, uh. but I don't know. Either way, that sounds boring as shit. Yes, if you're one of those to fly a, you know, airplane realistically, then you're a boring person. But there is a game here for you <laughs> if it's that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, there's probably people that have listened to this podcast and thought, you know, this is this is really good, and then we've proceeded to insult something <laughs> that they like, yeah. and like then insult them as a person for that. <laughs> and then it's like, fuck these guys, I'm not listening to this podcast ever again. Uh, we're sorry. Then they go and play Flight Simulator like a fucking nerd. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it looks boring. I don't know. I don't know why anyone plays any of those games. Like Train yeah. Sim World. Like, who's playing? Why? Why are you playing that? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I want to set up a choo-choo track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Like we're the coolest people ever. Yeah, yeah I know, right? We're clearly. <laughs> I'm sitting there playing Horizon, you know, alongside my, you know, Japanese you know, RPGs. Dancing games. Yep. Um, <laughs> pretty much the coolest guy ever. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much the coolest guy ever. <laughs> cool. Uh, on the 20th, we have a game called Cupid Parasite on Switch, mm. which is a visual novel. Um, oh, come on. I think it might be out in Japan only. Hmm. C- can you explain to me the the enjoyment one would get out of a visual novel? Well, um, I played Steins Gate. What the hell? <laughs> it looks, on the images, it's a guy, topless guy, like super muscles and things. And this is a uh, swimming shorts. Oh, that's my pre order. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're into that, there it is. But um, yeah, I played Steins Gate, which is really, really good. And it's just all to do with like the story and things. It's, it's basically a book with voice acting, like a picture okay. book with voice acting. Which, well, you don't do anything, you just watch, you just. Watch it. Um, well, you make choices on the side, and I can like change the outcome. Oh, okay. Like a choose your own adventure book, but with voice acting and decent story. Okay, and that's on Switch. And it's on Switch only. Yes. I mean, surely it's better suited for handheld consoles like that. Yeah, it makes sense. Like the Vita and Switch and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, no one plays Vita anymore. Come on. Yeah. They, they should. They should. But, the Vita is you know, a great console to remember. On the Really good console, yeah. Um. Then we have. Um. Uh, Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair Anniversary Edition uh, It's actually a really good game uh, coming out on uh, on iOS and Android What? Oh it's a mobile game uh, Yeah but originally it was on um, uh, Vita and then it was okay. on re-released on PS4 and now it's on iPhones and it's actually a really really good uh, like detective game Okay Very cool Also also partly like visual novel as well um, but Yeah really good check it out all right, it's Visual Novel Month. Yeah, I guess so. Um, then we have on twenty first, uh, uh, a Aokana Four Rhythm Across the Blue. It's got to be a Japanese game. In the game, uh, Four Rhythm Across the Blue, which again, guess what? Visual Novel. Seriously? Um, yeah, on PS4 and Switch. Why, why is it that every single month we do this, it's like a theme to the games <laughs> that are coming out? It's like they pick the month and be like, you know what? This will be a good month <laughs> to bring out a Visual Novel game. <laughs> yeah, there's probably none, no others coming out. And then all of a sudden, everyone's bringing a visual novel game out. Just like that month where 
It was the bloody survival games. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else coming out in UK as well? That's already out here over here now, apparently. Um, Great, I'll be rushing to game to buy it tomorrow. That's trailer. Um, yeah, in a world where flying through the sky is as simple as riding a bicycle, he's got a bicycle. The sport flying circus is all the rage, following this, the discovery of anti gravitants special shoes that allow an individual. Uh, fuck it, you can fly. It's a book, you can fly. Right. You can fly, but they've explained <laughs> it in a really convoluted, annoying way. <laughs> Pretty much. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah. And um, it's got like school girls on the cover. It's the most Japanese thing I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The, the schoolgirls they have like the the boob top like tied up. They don't uh, actually have a jumper or a shirt. They have a shirt, but it's like tied up. Yeah, and there's like, few, yeah, like short skirts and I just <laughs> Jesus Christ, as a, a young girl bent over in a swimming suit, looking sure, yeah. flustered at the camera. So there's that. This lays that before the FBI turns up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the, the aliens are going to come and only be <laughs> yeah. Oh, then God. watch the uh, trailer for that game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, Japan. Um, then we have on the same day uh, another exciting game, a PGA Tour 2K1. If you like 2K golf. 21. 21, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> 2K1? Yeah, it's come back in time. Yeah, they've, uh, they've re-released uh, 2001's uh, NBA, uh, NBA um, <laughs> PGA Tour. Yes, yeah, it's, like, um, it's like golf and uh, basketball combined. Yeah, it's awesome. You have NBA to hit the basketball GA. with the golf club. <laughs> sounds good to me. I'd play that. National Basketball Golf Association. That sounds brilliant, actually. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Um, we'll add it to the list of games that will never release. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, NBA 2K. No, fuck. I just said NBA again. PGA <laughs> Tour 2K21 21. is the follow-up to the golf club one and two. Makes sense. It looks like golf. Yeah, it looks like golf. Um, those games are fun. I'm not very good at them, but I enjoy them. Cool. I liked everybody's golf. That's, that's it. Yeah, that was good fun. Yeah, Basically we didn't play golf. enough of that. We yeah, played we nowhere play near enough of it, actually. We just absolutely play more. We used, to, we, used to, we used to play more games together, and then like as a group. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we we yeah, we don't even have to. So, like I said last week, we were going to focus on the podcast, um, but we should definitely do this and yeah. just have fun. We can actually talk about these experiences on the podcast that we make. Exactly. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Mm, let's do that. We'll pencil it in for next week. Okay. Okay. Pencil. Pencil, pencil, pencil. Cool. It's penciled in. <laughs> penciled. Nice. Penciled. Uh, then we've got, it's same day again, 21st, uh, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time on uh, PC, Switch, PS4, and Xbox. Mm-hmm. Which is Samurai Jack is a cartoon from a while ago. Is that a Cartoon Network one? I think so. Maybe. I don't actually know. It's it's a cartoon that exists. Um, right. Okay. There's a video game coming out of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at the. This is, a, this is not a good month for games. It's not. Not a huge amount. I keep being to mute. Ah, there we go. Uh, become a Samurai Zack. Samurai Zack. It's a different game. Zack. <laughs> different different cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> become Samurai Zack. It's like the uh, Chinese knockoff version. Um, oh right. Okay. Why Chinese? <laughs> uh, or any you know knockoff version. You know. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. Oh, okay. Why do people listen to this? I don't. I just don't, don't understand. Be- become Samurai Jack, the greatest warrior <laughs> across time. Journey through time to finally stomp Aku's evil reign in this new adventure told by the creators of Samurai Jack. Good synopsis. Great. Right. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Not oh, almighty. <laughs> and then on twenty fifth, we have a game called Can. Kandagawa. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Why? <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. Oh, my God. Uh, not loud. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm dead. Uh, Kandagawa Jet Girls, which is a racing game on, P- on PC and PS4. <laughs> I'm going to get it Japanese. Let's find out. Oh, that's what it tells me it is. Yep. If it's Japanese. <laughs> Based on an anime t- uh, TV series. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, boy. Um, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm trying to Google it. <laughs> Don't Google it. That's the worst thing you could do. <laughs> uh, yeah, schoolgirls, Japanese anime. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Do you ever get to a point where the, where the Japanese don't make those kind of games? Uh, no. Like, they start getting serious and it's like, right, okay, we don't need uh, to see underpants and upskirt <laughs> shots. Um, yeah, no. Uh, so people squ- know that Japanese girls have big breasts and vaginas. Oh, we don't need to see. <laughs> big vaginas, we don't need to yeah. show the world anymore. Yeah. Oh, God. Screenshots. Um, yep. Girls in bikinis shooting, you know, yeah. each other with water guns, bikinis. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Let's close out again. <laughs> <laughs> your, mom, your mom's going to burst in on you, right? Looking <laughs> at like while we record this podcast. <laughs> and she's just going to be like, she's going to walk straight back out. It's like that Simpsons gif where <laughs> Grandpa just... Simpson walks in the bar and then out the bar again. <laughs> yeah, it puts his hat down, yeah. Uh, Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It's going to be great. Also, I'm 32. Come on. Come on, Merman. I'm 32. I can do what I want. I want to look at anime girls. I can, you know. <laughs> you can't stop me anymore. I'm not a teenager. <laughs> this has uh, happened before. <laughs> no. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we have a game that actually exists and makes sense in the real world. Um, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. It's coming out on everything, including iOS and Android. Weird. Um, it's basically a. a a uh, kind of multiplayer Final Fantasy game. It's written on the GameCube. Um, right, okay. Yeah. Just a nice little action role playing game. With, okay. With the word Final It's not really a Final Fantasy game, it just has the Final Fantasy word on it to sell more copies. Um, Got you. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but it's a cute little little game or spin off. Making a shit game? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> here's, here's use Final Fantasy. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's a good game. It's a good fan base for it. I wasn't a huge fan back in the day. Uh, but it's, it's a nice little game. Okay. Yeah, it's not for the anime or Go Girls, so I'll take it. Um, <laughs> um, then we have, oh boy, um, I'm, I'm sure this has an English title. I've heard of it, and there was a different title for it, which isn't this. So I'm gonna try and find it. Um, hold on. Uh, why are you like this? Or maybe not. Maybe this is maybe, uh, maybe it just hasn't been announced over here yet. I don't know. I, I like the series. The series is the Legend of Heroes. Which is a very cool RPG, JRPG series. Uh, okay. sub- subtitle is Hajimari no Kiseki. I don't mm. know what that means. Uh, I'll tell you what it means. Japan. It means, it means Japanese schoolgirls <laughs> shooting each other in the puss with water guns. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, no, it's a cool uh, JRPG. I played the first lot. Mm. Um, I'm trying to translate what the hell this means. Um, oh, I'll translate just, something like... Um, Reddit, save me. Uh, spoilers. That's a black hole you're <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's, you know, hit or miss. Mostly miss. <laughs> yeah. Rarely hit. Yeah. I can't tell. Well, it's weird. It's a cool game. It's, it'll, no, it'll come over here eventually with a different title. Um, so, yeah, JRPGs. Yay. Uh, <laughs> we have a game called Tell Me Why. Tell Me Why This Month is Full of School Girls uh, for PC and Xbox. Uh huh. Well, well, what's that? What? Please. Tell me why. Tell, well, me, tell me, why. me what that tell me why is. Um, it's a song, but that's not what I'm looking for. You, that's um, the Backstreet Google. Boys song, isn't it? <laughs> tell me why. Um, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Video game. Here we go. Um, it is a video game. It's on Steam. Oh, wait. I know what it is. It's um, it's from the people who made Life is Strange. Oh, I know that game. I think. It's, it's from Don't Nod, and it's an Xbox. Uh, so it would be a Game Pass exclusive to Xbox and PC. Oh, uh, yeah. After 10 years apart, twins Tyler and Allison reunite to sell their childhood home. They soon realise their past is not what they remember. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. It cool. does look really good. I saw the trailer for it on the Xbox uh, game showcase and it looked great. Awesome. It looked like life is the people. Uh, it looked like a game made by the people who make Life is Strange, which is exactly what it is. Cool. Good stuff. I'll check it out. Yeah. Maybe. Excuse me. Um, on the 28th, we have Captain Subasa. Rise of New Champions oh. on uh, PC, uh, Switch, and PS4, which is a Japanese. Oh, is it? <laughs> it is. It's a football game, <laughs> it looks like, based on an what? anime. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Steam, save me. Um, it is it's a arcade football game bringing a refreshing look to the football genre uh, with the accelerating action and over the top sport. Uh, over the top shots that make made the license famous. I don't know what the license is. I guess it's based on an anime or cartoon or something. Um, 
it's win against a Japanese schoolgirl. Pretty much. Um, no, it looks like football, but anime. Right. Okay. Basically, uh, lots of, like powered up shots, like like fireballs, and like yeah, anime. Yay! But football. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it sounds fine. Yeah, it can be fun. I'm sure it's fine. Anime month. Japanese month. Japan. <laughs> is that it? Is, or are we... Uh... Uh, no, there's three more. Um, there's more Japan. But as now we've got... Uh, first next game is uh, Immortal Realms Vampire Wars on everything, which is a strategy game. Um, an engaging strategy game set in a dark vampire world in turmoil that combines empire management pardon, and turn-based combat with unique card game elements. All the fun things. Card game... <laughs> Uh, strategy turn based. I like this is for the people but... that, and if you're one of these people, don't take offense to this. <laughs> this is for the people that go and sit in a comic book shop around a table playing fucking cards on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I can see, I can see the appeal, that kind of thing. If you have your oh, like, friends, like I said, don't take offense to it, but that's <laughs> what that game's for. Uh, yeah, it looks, it looks very, very much like uh, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it looks, if you're into that kind of thing, it does look like a fun, polished game. Um, yeah, not for me personally, but yeah, it looks alright. I like how you shied away from uh, <laughs> from going down that dark hole that I just went down. Yeah, because I know people who do that kind of thing, and they're all nerds. I mean, they're all really good people. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 honestly, I can't see the appeal. I know I've thought about it, but no, I thought about it more. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then we have a game called uh, Jump Force Deluxe Edition coming out on Switch. I'm pretty sure it's already out on other things. Yeah, it's out on everything else uh, but Switch, I think. So. Uh, yeah, it's a fight- fighting game, uh, crossover game with like uh, anime, more anime. It didn't do well. Did not? Uh, that's a shame. No, it did not do well. Mm. Uh, it looked great. The original trailer for it looked really good, um, but apparently the execution was very poor. That's a shame. I mean, mixed reviews on Steam, 60 on Metacritic, on Metacritic, mostly negative on Steam, yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame because it looked good, but... Hmm. It's on Xbox Game Pass if people wanted to try it for nothing. Cool. Um, then we have, the same day again, Madden NFL 21, if you're American. Yeah, that's their version of rugby <laughs> for anyone who uh, rugby doesn't ball. know what that is. Yeah. Um, um, the Madden games are always fine. Yeah. They love, they have, they will, just like, you know, FIFA and all that. People, like, people buy it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, people do say FIFA is the same every year, and every year I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but now I'm getting to that point where it's like, it is the same every year. Just like Madden is the same, and NHL is the same, and NBA is the same. Yeah. They're all the same. And Japanese school girls are the same. It's all the yep. same. Yeah, all of it. The, <laughs> the same. Just the same. Uh, good stuff. Uh, and then we have uh, Project Cars 3 on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Yeah, so that's like a... a it's a, it's a sim, basically. Yeah, racing sim, yeah. The second one was recently on Xbox Games with Gold. I haven't played it. I've got it, but... Hmm. The first one was very difficult. That much I do remember. Yeah, it's very, very you know, hardcore racing uh, fan kind of game. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely that. Yeah, sort of like a Gran Turismo kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah, but I think probably even more of a sim than that. Yeah. A Gran Turismo is like, you know, the easier mode for it is like us to play. But this mm-hmm. is like this is purely for like the super hardcore driving, yeah, yeah, driving fans. Cool, that's that. Looks like a fun game. You into that kind of thing? Um, yeah, that'll do well. That'll yeah, do well. And then we have uh, Wasteland Three, which is uh, a sequel to Wasteland Two. Who do think? Oh, um, wow! Well, I didn't know. <laughs> I actually have Wasteland Two on my uh, my PS4 uh, that I haven't played. Um, what is it? It is a strategy game, but a very good strategy game. It reviewed really, really well. Wasteland Three is. Uh, Wait for it, wait for it. Uh, following the critically acclaimed 2014, wow, that long ago, Game of the Year winner. Um, oh, it's not actually it's an opposite, it just says it's a sequel. Good, <laughs> it's more of the same. Uh, yeah, but it's like, did an, you like Wasteland 2? Well, <laughs> Wasteland 3 is right up your street. Yeah, it's basically a top down RPG, a very in depth with a very cool story. And okay. yeah, is that not, coming out on everything? Is it? Uh, yeah, PC, yeah, PS1, Xbox. Cool, very cool. I should play a second one at some point. Um, and then we have a game called Windbound on literally everything, including the Stadia. So you know it's good. Remember that? Mm, no. Um, okay, what kind of game is it? 
Let's have a look. Is it on Steam? Windbound. Yeah. Windbound. Um, no, it looks like a survival game. My favourite. Well, it had to be there, didn't it? <laughs> uh, shipwrecks alone on an uncharted island. Explore, adapt, and navigate the land and perilous, perilous, perilous seas to stay alive. Uh, you are a warrior caught at sea in a fierce storm, adrift from your tribe, thrown from your boats at the mercy of the blah, 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 survival. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Looks alright though. Looks, looks like a pretty game. Looks very, okay. like, like shell shaded, like a Wind Waker kind of thing. Oh, okay, that sounds that sounds nice. Yeah. I won't play it, but it sounds nice. Hmm, looks okay. I'll check it out on sale when they're not by it. Um, <laughs> uh, there we have. It didn't say a date, but TBA uh, again called uh, Color Color X Malice Unlimited on the Switch. Oh, right. Color Cross. Uh, yeah, guess what? Visual novel. What? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yep. Japan. Uh, can't see any schoolgirls on it yet. Yeah. No doubt they're there somewhere. Oh, they'll be there. They'll one hundred percent be there. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's have a look. Look at the images. Um. Yeah, it's just like a an okay kind of novel. Looks like a good. It's got a good art style to it. Not just like generic anime. It's like like a proper cringy look to it. Uh-huh. I like it. Cool. 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 Um, yeah, so that's that. Also, uh, Serious Sam 4, question mark, on PC and Stadia. Yay, Stadia. I oh, yeah. guess it's not out on those yet. Um, oh, wait, wait, do you have is Serious Sam 4 out on anything yet, or am I thinking of 3? I, I, honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of 3. I think 4 is coming out soon. Who knows? Didn't they bring a... I thought they brought a collection out, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember. It's basically Duke Nukem, but not like if someone Duke, saw right. someone saw Duke Nukem and thought we could do that. I made Duke Nukem, but called him Sam. <laughs> cool, <laughs> kind of. I guess I don't know. Well, if it works for them, I guess that's fine. It yeah. must have some sort of following if they've got a fourth game out of it. So yeah, why not? Yeah, <laughs> and then the last game on the list, uh, PC is Surgeon Simulator Two. Uh, the first game was a very funny, um, but a funny, difficult. Yeah, funny but difficult game where you perform surgery. Um, it looks like that. It's hilarious to watch. I know I played it myself, but it looks very, very funny. Uh, I have played it, and I can confirm that it is very difficult. <laughs> um, the second one's been advertised for ages now, actually. So, um, yeah. yeah, I thought that would probably see the light of day fairly soon. Cool. Yeah, it looks, fun. It looks just as wacky and insane as the first game. Um, yeah, I thought there'd be lots of LP, less plays online and stuff to watch. Um. I mean, it's slim pickings, but what's your pick of the month? <laughs> well, let's have a look. It's got to be. Um, I'm trying to find which was the. Um, ah, there we go. Uh, uh, Candy Girl with Jet Girls, of course. <laughs> Racing game anime <laughs> game. Um, I don't know, really. Um, can I pick Horizon Zero Dawn again? <laughs> yeah, if you want. To be fair, it's coming out this month on uh, on PC, so yes, of course you can. Yeah, but there's not really any any massive games coming out, is there, this month? <clears throat> not really, no. I'm going to go for UFC 4. I mean, it is that time of year when our uh, EA Sports start to uh, pile their games out. So I'm going to go for UFC 4. Cool. Sounds good. Let's notice the game coming out next month called Fight Crab. <laughs> Fight what, sorry? Fight Crab. Fight Crab. Yeah. Looks interesting. Right. Anyway, we'll talk about next month. Of course. <laughs> cool. So that is 2020. Long month. 2020, that's a whole year. Um, it's August 2020. I missed a word out. That's how long that that, <laughs> that segment lasts. Yeah, because... I've been talking too much. I can't words anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you watch the Xbox Game Showcase? Uh, I saw the highlights. Highlights of it. Okay. What did you? How did you feel about it? Um, it was fine. Um, yeah. Halo looks gameplay wise looks fun. Graphic graphically wise looks like an Xbox One X game. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know. I mean, it's Halo. End of the day, it's going to be a Halo game. It's going to be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, it's an open <laughs> world this time, so that adds a new element to a Halo game. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it'll look fantastic when it does come out. I've been. Um, I actually put Halo Four on the other day because I've got the Master Chief collection sitting on my Xbox. Cool. Um, I put Halo Four on, which is my personal favorite Halo. Oh, really? Wow. Um, just I like the story and I like the I like the gameplay mechanics and stuff. But Go um, uh, it it still looks fantastic. So um, I I think Halo Infinite will look unbelievable when it comes out. Things with Halo, and 
it's never been a, one of those games that has photorealistic graphics. Yeah. So I, I don't know what. I mean, when I look, when I saw it in action, I was like, okay, it looks like Halo. <laughs> but I don't know what I was expecting. That's to be honest, that should have been exactly what I was expecting. Yeah. But it's fine. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, obviously that's the meme going around with the like little alien guy looking <laughs> Yeah. Looking angry. Um Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. You know, it's Halo. Halo's gonna Halo. It's gonna be the same as well, not the same because it's open world. It's gonna be the you know, same sort of thing. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not a bad thing. Um but you know, the Halo fans will be uh, I'm sure I'll be happy uh, with it. I'll play it because um, it's on Game Pass day one. So, you know, it's not like I've got to splash 60 quid out for it or anything like that. So yeah. it's definitely worth a look. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, CG trailer for the new Fable. Yep. Which is cool. It looks very nice. Yeah, um, terribly, terribly kept secret. We knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the fact that we knew it was coming and all we got was that CG trailer, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. And it yeah. tells me that it's uh, it's way, way off. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a way to go. Um, but yeah, I will play it. I don't think I'll buy an Xbox Series X, it's Xbox, uh, for it. Um, but by then, I'd imagine the X Cloud will be a thing, and up and running. So it's yeah, yeah, it. definitely. <laughs> yeah, which is a cool thing because you know, it's cool for people like me who don't want to splash, you know, all that money on an Xbox Series X for like one or yeah. two games. Um, well, that's it. I mean, that's that's why Project X Cloud is going to be really great. Hmm. Yeah, I look forward to checking it out. I think it's already in like beta, beta on like phones and things. Yeah, it is, yeah, on Android yeah. phone, so you could probably play it on your phone. Hmm, interesting. But um thing is, uh, with Fable, Playground Games, um, who are famous for the Forza Horizon games, they make great open worlds. So if, they're, if the open world for Fable is going to be anywhere near as pretty as the open worlds for the Forza Horizon games, then it's going to be uh, it's going to be a wonderful-looking game. Awesome. Good stuff. Striving. Look forward to it. I love the first two games, first three games. Yeah, yeah. Great games. Awesome. Um, what else happened? Uh, so uh, they showed up a load of stuff that's console exclu- launch exclusive. So they're mm. timed exclusives. Um, the Forza is in development, but not coming out until next year. Oh yeah. Oh, thanks. Trailer. Oh. <laughs> they uh, they didn't show any gameplay for Hellblade. Confirmed that it was going to be running on the Unreal Engine 5, which is nice, fine. Nice. Um, but that's going to be a way off as well. So they do I mean they showed they showed games and that's what they needed to do. Um, but what they did was promote Game Pass as opposed to promoting the new console they've got coming out. Mm. They I mean I've got an Xbox One X. They didn't really give me a reason to get an Xbox Series X. Yeah. I feel that way about at this point. Yeah, I feel that way, way about you know PS5 as well to be honest. Um, at least for now. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah, nothing. To be honest, nothing that has been shown so far has really leapt out to me as I've got to get a console for this. Yeah, it's definitely the least hyped I've been for a new generation of consoles. Yeah, um, I'm 100 percent with you there. Yeah, it's not that they aren't, they aren't like, amazing looking games. It's of just, course, just, just there's so many games that what he got, <laughs> and it's like it's a lot of money you know a lot of things to pay for I'm an adult now I've got responsibilities and bills and shit mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah the thing is like with the Xbox um, you know usually you buy a console to play you know the new games you buy mm. the new console to play the new games but I can play the new games on the console that I've already got true and it's still a 4k really powerful console yeah to give, I mean they need to you know and, and you know, yeah, PlayStation are going to have exclusives. Horizon's miles off. Really couldn't care less about Spider-Man. Um, but, you know, I need a reason to buy the consoles. And so far at the minute, uh, I don't really have one other than just for have, for having one's sake. Yeah, pretty much. I do like the idea of Spider-Man. I really did like the original, but I don't, I don't need another one just yet. No, neither do I. Um, yeah. That's about it for that. Um, there wasn't that, that Nintendo thing that happened. Um, mm. Where pretty much nothing happened, uh, but they didn't did announce something that's cool for nerds like me, uh, which is a a HD remaster of Shin Megami Tensei Three Nocturne. It's coming out on Twitch and PS4. Nice. Mm-hmm. Originally a PS2 game. Okay, I have it actually. Let's have a look. Let's find it. Um, yeah. See, I did uh, when when I saw that was announced, I, I thought of you straight away because I I'd, I'd heard of it because you'd mentioned it before. Yes, and it's called something else. Though. It's called Lucifer's Call. Um, it features Dante from the Devil May Cry series. You're not, oh. you're not mean. Is it a game it's from? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a cool little uh, JRPG. It's cool. And they also announced the uh, new one, uh, Five, is coming out exclusively on Switch. And it's going to be launched worldwide, uh, simultaneously worldwide, which is the first time that's happened in forever. At least for, uh, you know, Atlas. Because like, not even P- the Persona games come out world, um, simultaneously. So this is like it looked big... a lot like Persona to me. Yeah, but it's the same. It's the same uh, series. Same mm. kind of kind of like Persona is a spin off from Shin Megami. Oh, okay. Um, which kind of grew and became its own thing. Um, so it's the same sort of thing. Same sort of game. Same I mean, kind which of. Which is not a bad thing because Persona is but... is great. Persona mm. Five is a is a, a brilliant game, one of the best of this generation by a mile. Oh yeah. Um, it's definitely in the conversation, but. Um, yeah, I thought you know I thought of you when I saw it, and I was like, yeah, okay, um, this isn't for me. They're not showing anything that interests me in the slightest. But you know, I the fact that I've actually heard of this Japanese game means that it's probably relatively popular. So you know, Nintendo do what they want. People have expectations. They do predictions for these directs, and then nin- Nintendo just come and shit all over their dreams. <laughs> Pretty much, um, you know, there'll be a direct where they'll show new stuff. Nintendo just do what they want, and you know that's that's just Nintendo being Nintendo. Yeah, pretty much. Give us Nintendo's give us... world. And we're just living in it. <laughs> give us that Mario collection, please. Thank you. It's never come in, never. But I want it. Give me Super I want Mario Nintendo Sunshine. 64 games on the Nintendo Switch Online thing because that service is great. Yeah, that's awesome. That'd be great. Super Mario 64 on the Switch. I, me I mean, surely it can be done. Surely. I think it will happen. Hopefully. Yeah, I think they'll bring Switch games to the, the online service. Hmm. Uh, I love that service. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy nipping on to uh, have a few rounds on Super Punch-Out, which is still a great game. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, because they brought Donkey Kong Country and Natsumi Championship Wrestling to uh, to the service. Yeah, I played that wrestling game. Actually. I couldn't figure out what the buttons were. So it was kind of mash buttons. Really? And nothing happened. It's just like Fire Pro. <laughs> Is it? I couldn't, yeah. yeah. I was just, well, just doing it wrong. It's really good. It's it's really, really good. Especially for a wrestling game of its time. Mm. It's, um, yeah, it's it's great. Awesome. I'll check it out again. Definitely do. I'll figure it out. It's not difficult, honestly. Just watch a YouTube video on it. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Cool. And that's probably about it for video games, finally. I think so, yeah. <laughs> cool. I mean, we've been ranting on it for you know about an hour and a quarter already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, awesome. We'll fly through Extreme Rules. Uh, I mean, it, you know, you've already seen everything about it by it's now, cold. so you probably don't need us to talk about it. I need to know your thoughts on Rey Mysterio's prosthetic eye. <laughs> you mean it wasn't real? Oh. It might have been, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't really, it wasn't. Um, yeah, it's weird, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah it was very bizarre the, Extreme Rules was a real mixed bag of a pay-per-view because um, I actually enjoyed the actual wrestling aspect Yeah, uh, but some of it just was nonsense I mean the, the ending to we knew it was going to be weird but oh, yeah. um, the ending to the Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins match was uh, bizarre, can somebody's eye just come out by doing that, I don't know, never tried it can, Probably yeah. never will. Well, let me try it now <sighs> no, didn't work out. Yeah. If anything, you're gonna push it back into his head, not. Yeah, yeah. I said if you angle it just right, you can. You know, I'm thinking about it too much. Um, but yeah, the tag, we like a tag team match with uh, Nakamura and Cesaro. We'd happy to see them win as well. Yeah, great. I thought they might as well, but it, it, it turns out Kofi's injured, so. Yeah. Also good that that like, Biggie might be getting some sort of push. Yeah, it certainly seems that way, doesn't mm. it? I, I, plus, I would like that. It's been. I feel like it's a long time coming. Yeah, Biggie's great. I always enjoyed him. Also, how long is Woods out for? Because I feel like he's been out yeah. for ages now. Yeah, I think it's a torn Achilles. Just always takes like a long, long time Ooh, to heal. Okay. That's yeah. a bad one. So I think it's still got a little while yet. I imagine it's probably going to be at least later this year, like late this year or early next year, I'd imagine. Okay. Um. So yeah, that. so the eye versus eye for an eye match happened. Yeah. It was wrestling-wise, it was all right, kind of, I guess. Yeah, the, the, you know, the match itself was good. Seth Rollins is very talented, as is Rey Mysterio. Of course. Um, but the you know the end of the match, it was always going to be a big talking point, and consequently, it, it was and is. And uh, apparently, the way the ending was done was because Rey Mysterio still hasn't renewed a contract with WWE yet. Yeah, I think he wanted but, more money, and WWE were like, no. <laughs> yeah. But uh, with that said, um, 
from what I read a couple of days back, um, they are very close to agreeing terms, and Dominic is on Raw tonight yeah. uh, to confront uh, Seth Rollins. So I would imagine that um, Rey Mysterio will be involved again soon. With his eye yeah. intact, because, you know, they can save it, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so if because of this, um, actually, he's not blind, he's going to be fine, so, yeah, you know, yeah, everything's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come back, nothing happened. Could, yeah, no, no, nothing <laughs> happened at all. Completely fine. <laughs> Uh, um, so we also had the um, we really like the McIntyre Dolph uh, match was really good. We yep. like the stipulation as well. All the very clever. Yeah, uh, it was it was good. Um, and despite all of that, I still knew he wouldn't win. No, of course, <laughs> it was going to happen. Yeah. Um, uh, but they're, they're having a rematch tonight on Raw. And McIntyre picks the stipulation. Uh, yeah, interestingly, even though it was announced as a title match last week, um, it is now a non-title match, which is weird. Right. Okay. Yeah, which makes me think Ziggler's going to win somehow. Possibly, and yeah. then maybe have a rematch for the title the week after or at the next baby view. Zumaslam, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Maybe um, we'll see. Although I read that uh, they were going to go with Orton to fight mm. Drew McIntyre at Zumaslam for the title. Randall Keith. Yeah, and then maybe have Drew win it back later. Who knows? Uh, I would actually think what would happen is I'll put the belt on Edge. That could happen. Hmm. I don't know. I, mm. I don't know. I, I, I want to tell me we would be okay with that. Um, but I do like uh, Heal Lawton very much. Yeah, but I also like um, Drew as champion. Yeah, me too. I love Drew. I don't know. Mm. Uh, it's conflicting. It is. It is. But then again, Speaking Randy's going champ- to doing this like legend killer thing. So Drew's not really a legend, so to speak. So maybe I'll delay that until later. Who knows? He's a legend to the Scots. But... Maybe. Maybe. The Scottish legend. Yep. <laughs> Maybe Viz can confirm this for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of championship matches that aren't championship matches, I thought the Swamp Fight was for the Universal Championship. Turns out it wasn't. Yeah, same here. Like one of those things where I announced it and then changed the minds later, I guess. Yeah, just mixed messaging from WWE once again. Unless it was never announced that it was a championship match and everybody just assumed. But, yeah. But, uh... um, either way, Bray Wyatt won. Yeah, well, it wasn't really a match. I think they took out the match wording from it. It's like it's there's this one fight now, um, and it was it was decent. I like you know it's the same same sort of thing as the five web from the house and you know the Undertaker match. Um, I actually enjoyed the the bar fight from this week's this past week's SmackDown. I actually enjoyed that more. Yeah, really. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was good. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I didn't mind you know this one fight or the bar match for that matter. Um, people were saying it didn't have an ending, but then I'm pretty sure. Born drowning to death is a pretty good ending. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, the, the return of the fiend was the the big takeaway from that match, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, which is cool. I don't have to have a match. You know, Born will come back from the dead as a zombie. I'll have a match at whatever. It's, it's a slam. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I don't want to see the fiend lose. I need the fiend to win the championship back. Yeah, me too. Because if he doesn't, then and he loses again, that character for me is dead in the water. No pun intended. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any problem is, I hope they get rid of his belt, his new belt, because we don't need oh, his, his belt. Just, his belt sucks. Yeah. Yeah. To pretend that doesn't exist. Go back to his old one. Just go back to the Universal Championship. Yeah. Yeah. Just go back to the Universal Championship. Uh, don't have Bray's weird belt. <laughs> his weird no base, isn't it? Yeah. It's just horrible. Yeah. It's just crap. So strange. They could have done such a good job with it and they just ruined it. Yeah, they just literally stretched his mask out across the belt. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, sucks. But, yeah, I mean, uh, so The Fiend came back uh, and, you know, Extreme Rules overall wasn't a terrible show. Yeah, but, it was... you know, it wasn't setting the wrestling world on fire. No, it was fine. Also, we had the weird ending with uh, uh, Dasha Banks and uh, Asuka. Yeah. Which... I don't know, because obviously Asuka's still the champion, but then Stephanie yeah. McMahon came along and said, actually, neither of you are champion. So there, have a match. Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, I actually enjoyed the ending to that match. I know a lot of people were pissed off about it, but I like this heel side of Bailey. Yeah, me too. And that just sort of enhanced the heel character even more. So um, I I liked the end of that match, and I love the two of them um, you know, carrying those belts around. They are the stars of the show at the minute. They're, they're doing they're doing amazing work. Yeah, and everywhere at the minute. But unlike Charlotte, they're still entertaining. 
Sorry, Charlotte. Yeah, well, no, I think <laughs> you're, you're absolutely correct. I mean, Charlotte's character got stale, you know, a while ago now. So it's good that she's having some time off TV. Um, you know, whatever she's doing, I know she's probably got injuries to nurse and yeah, something about boobs, like <laughs> sort of thing on Twitter. Yeah, something right. She's not having more boob work, surely. No, I think it's just fixing her problems. Yeah, with it. Okay. I think she's fine. Gonna, yeah, it's fine. Uh, uh, I do, I do like Charlotte. I don't mean to come across, you know. Like oh, great wrestler. She's she, she's one of the best. We you know we've been we've been saying this for a while now that Charlotte's, you know, one of if not the best that they have. Yeah, it's just the character is good use some work, and the fact is you can't decide if it's his face or heel. Not her, but mm-hmm. you know, Vince can't decide if it's his face or heel or not. Yeah, um, it's weird. Um, but I, I imagine Oscar will win tonight. Yeah, I hope. I think Cassie has not looked super strong with this title just yet. She needs some more wins. To like Agreed. Champ. Um, another thing that's confusing me with Oscar is obviously they tease that match, uh, potential match with Kyrie Sane, like Kyrie Sane's ready for Oscar and all that sort of stuff. Mm. But Kyrie Sane's left now. Was she gone completely? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. I think I think her last night. Well, this is what um, the dirt sheets and stuff were reporting that it was her last night, last week on Raw. Oh, unless he's working on the contract now, maybe so a few more matches off contracts, and still go to Japan. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, you know, Kairi Sale will be missed because I've really enjoyed the Kabuki Warriors. Uh, and, you know, the the match, cause, uh, this is what I've read. So the original plan was to um, for her to fight Oscar and for her to be written off TV through injury. Yeah, yeah. But I'm assuming the pandemic has sort of thrown a spanner in the works. And, uh, you know, she's left on good terms, apparently. So the door's always open for her to come back. And there's also the, a very, very good chance should NXT Japan take off or, mm. you know, get started like they want it to. <laughs> Then I, I imagine she'll be uh, like an an ambassador for that brand there. Yeah, that'd be good. Because yeah, it's a shame Kyrie never got like a proper good run on the main roster. Um, yeah, injuries, uh, you know, no fault of her own no. for the most part. Well, no, uh, really held her back, and it's a shame. But um, yeah, I, I wish her all the best. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, let's do anything else, but it's gone out my head. Um, Oh yeah, going to speaking of NXT Japan, uh, NXT UK as in good news in the fact that it's not being cancelled, and they're nope. still um, you know determined to make uh, this like global thing work, which is good. Yeah, uh, that, that is a good thing. I mean, it, I think yeah, you know what they they've gotten rid of the you've, they've gotten rid of Travis Banks and um, Ligero, uh, you know, so they they are taking taking action. Uh, you know, obviously now it's about um, preparing to tape again. Yeah. You know, they've got the talent doing promos because, you know, they're, they're basically putting highlight shows out on the network weekly at the minute. Mm. Um, so they've got the talent doing promos and, you know, still tweeting and all that sort of stuff. So I'm glad it's going nowhere because I really enjoy it. Yeah, me too. Plus, WWE would be foolish to lose Walter. Oh, yeah. Big time. Because I said, Walter said he doesn't want to go to you know, move to America. So it's probably going to be an NXT, NXT UK guy, you know, for as long as he's there. In the WWE. Yeah, make the occasional appearance on NXT. Yeah. Got their Imperium on NXT Tag Champions now, right now, aren't they? They are, yep. Mm. Cool. See, that's good because it keeps them in the fold because obviously Walter can't travel anywhere. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, he's the United Kingdom champion, can't do anything with it, which sucks, but um, I'm glad NXT UK isn't going anywhere. That, that makes me happy. Yes, me too. And hopefully when wrestling does return, you know, it'll return in a better state than what it's been, you know, left in. Yes. We've got the, those, we did out the to come back. Yeah. yeah. It's those of us that are left on the scene that, you know, now have to rebuild it. Hmm. Make it better than it was. Absolutely. Full of better people. Yes. Good. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, Extreme Rules was a mixed bag. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Um, I like how Alexa Bliss didn't mention how she was at the swamp, kind of. Even though she wasn't, because it was... Like, it was <laughs> yeah, um, it was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just like, like a dream, but yeah, Alexa Bliss. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought, I just thought, would have thought like, she would have said something on Raw or SmackDown about you know how she turned up at the swamp. Maybe that's the yeah. idea. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Uh, what do you think of this Naomi stuff? Um, yeah, I'm behind it. Um, you know, Naomi is a great talent and is the same as being wasted doing bloody karaoke garbage. Um, yeah, nobody should be doing that shit. No yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm all for giving her a big push. You know, she's great as a women's champion, in my opinion. And yeah, yeah I'd love to see him in the main event more. Yeah. Um, I like Miz and Morrison's dancing to her music. <laughs> yeah, that's, that that's really good, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, I, I like Naomi. Um, it just shows that, you know, the power of the internet can pretty much, you know, WWE are trying anything at the minute. So if yeah. they see something trending on the internet, I mean, you know, the beat off challenge might even make its way to Raw or Raw or SmackDown. Maybe bring us on, did we? Yeah, book it, Vince. Give us a call. Yeah, book it, Vince. We'll beat them all off in the <laughs> yeah. middle of the ring. This is... We've got a record to beat. We do, blokes. Yeah, but I see. Uh, I said, I think you know, I see Naomi beating Lacey Evans whenever they have that match. Yeah, Lacey just Evans... to solidify this uh, movement. Lacey Evans is a better heel as well, by the way. Yeah, she's better as a heel. But this is a weird way to do it. So, oh, I lost a karaoke. I'm a bad guy now. Screw you. Idiot. Karaoke's a serious business. Come on. <laughs> I guess it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, you been catching up with AEW at all? Um, I really should. I've been pretty lazy with it. I'm watching like highlights and things, but mm. the shows awesome. have been just rock solid every week. So so good. I really enjoyed last week's episode. Um, I just look forward to it every single week. Yeah. Um, it's just great wrestling. Really good stuff. Awesome. I need to, yeah, I need to get on that catch up. Yes, definitely do. It's, it's really, really good. Uh, Fighter Fest was really good. Fight for the Fallen was good. And, you know, everything's just been very, very good. Good. So it's definitely worth catching up on. When you've caught up with it, then we'll talk about it in better detail. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, also, Slammiversary happened, which is a lot of fun. Slammiversary uh, did happen. Yes. Yeah. A lot of extra um, guys turning up. Yeah, so, you know, Impact were advertising this show, not as a wrestling show, but a who's going to turn up type show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I watched the pay-per-view uh, and the the show itself, you know, the wrestling wasn't that great. If I'm mm. being perfectly honest with you, it wasn't. That's a shame. It was it, it was fine. Yeah, it's just, but it's fine. it wasn't anything better than fine. What doesn't help Impact is the fact that there's no crowd at all. Yeah, not even like stand-ins, like, like members of the roster or anything. No, nothing like that. Um, and it, it, you know, it really, it really hurts it. I think. Yeah, they could have done something. I don't know. Shame. But with that said, so the Good Brothers have signed. So Carl Anderson and Doc Doc Gallows. Mm. Yeah, Too they're sweet. now um, they're now in Impact. Um, Good sir. And I think, you know, based on what you read on the internet, they're allowed to go and wrestle for New Japan when that's when travel restrictions are lifted. Cool, cool. Good for them. I'm happy for them. I like them. And I hope they do well in Impact. I'm sure they will. Yeah. Uh, Heath Slater turned up. Awesome. Looking great as well. Yeah, yeah looks great. Um, you know, they're, they're using this storyline at the minute that he's not signed with the company and he's not allowed in the building and all this sort of stuff. Um, obviously he has signed with Impact and that's cool. Yeah. Happy for him. You know, I'm happy for all these guys that, you know, have, you know, lost their jobs, but they, you know, that now they have a home. Yeah. It's a shame the audio issues happened right during, no, where is he <sighs> appeared? Yeah, that's bad sucks, timing. Yeah. Horrendous timing, but um, if you listen hard enough, you can hear him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kurt Hawkins has signed a deal to go to Impact. Cool. Um, I believe Zack Ryder will go to AEW. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he's, you know, he's friends with Cody. I know that sort of Cody always plays these things down. But um, I definitely see it happening. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, me too. It's one of those underrated guys on the roster. You know, big, big following like on the internet, but it's never, mm-hmm. you know, never gave a proper push. Yeah, I mean, they tried it. It just didn't, you know, it didn't work. Uh, as well, it's probably due to no fault of his own because he's a super talented guy as well. Yeah, but um, I, I definitely see him turning up in AEW because they are him and Cody are, are big friends. So uh, I, I see that happening for sure. Cool. Um, who else turned up? Uh, EC3, of course, uh, of course, turned up. Good. Um, and he attacked. Uh, well, he he had a video package at the end of Slammiversary. Then he turned upon the following week's Impact and attacked Moose, who is the current TNA champion, not oh, yeah. the Impact Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the TNA champion. Right. They have two belts. Uh, the story behind that is Moose found the TNA championship on an announce desk, claimed it, and he's now that champion. Right. Makes sense. 
Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> so EC3 is back in Impact, where you know he became a star in the first place, and that is probably the best place for him. His promos have been just fucking incredible. Yeah, I was on Twitter. Very good. Yeah, really good. Um, it was funny, like the commentary, like when he attacked Moose, he was like, "Oh, he doesn't even work here." It's like, get in the bin. Yeah. You've been on. advertising that people are going to return, and he was on the end of Slammiversary, and blah blah blah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, don't yeah. fucking don't give us that shit. We know. <laughs> who else? Who else turned up? Uh, that might be it, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, Eric Young. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, he returned. He was obviously a big time player in Impact and uh, did literally nothing in WWE. Yeah, it's it insanity, and they well, disappeared. A little, a little wasted uh, uh, opportunity. Okay. Oh, massively. Uh, Eric Young's super talented. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's not... Yeah, he's just... Just not he's, WWE, just, not a WWE guy, I guess. Not a WWE guy, yeah. Um, I, I fully expect um, Mike and Maria to go to Impact again. Probably. At some point. Um, but yeah, you know what? It's good for them. This is a fresh start because they've lost some talent uh, due to the Speaking Out movement. You know, well, they've got rid of some talent. I say lost them. They've got rid of them, rightly so. Yeah, Joey Ryan, Michael Elgin, you know, just to name a couple. Tessa Blanchard's gone. Um, so, you know, so it's, it's a rebuilding process for them as well. And it's good that they've... It's, it's almost worked out well for everybody. Yeah. It's, it's shit that people lost their jobs, but it's also good that they found somewhere now. And, um, it worked out you well. know, worked out well for the good people. Yeah. Good. And it's worked out correctly for the shit people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's been an interesting couple of weeks in wrestling. Uh, WWE's, you know, ratings are seriously, like, dropping at the minute. Um, yes. I think it's, you know, a lot of the episodes of Raw have been really the same. Pretty much, yeah. You follow the same format. MVP says something, and Drew McIntyre says something, and then... Um, Josh and Bailey you know, do a thing. Yeah, you know, then it cuts to MVP and Lashley backstage talking to, um, please don't take this the wrong way, another black wrestler, because that's the, what they're looking to do, I think, yeah, is create some sort of uh, faction with, you know, uh, black wrestlers, and that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, you know, it, it does, you know, Ray, then Seth Rollins comes out and preaches and says a few things about Rey Mysterio. So, you know, a I lot of episodes this, of Raw have sense. actually been the same. Yeah, pretty much. Very copy copy paste. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that, that changes in the build to SummerSlam. Yeah, I think SmackDown views this week were a lot higher than they were the week before. Yeah, SmackDown's been good. good. To be fair, I mean, Matt Riddle's been having good matches. AJ Styles is on there, and yeah, we still get the Sasha and Bailey stuff, but at least it's with different people, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's still funny. It's yeah. entertaining. But Smack SmackDown's been, you know, that's been flailing. For sure. But, you know, it seems to be picking back up again a little bit. But um, to be honest, out of everybody, you know, out of all the wrestling companies during this pandemic, um, although WWE has done some good stuff, um, you know, they're, you know they're, they're definitely, I think they're definitely second best to AEW at the minute. Yeah. Yeah. I think and that's right. in terms of, I mean, obviously, you know, AEW aren't touching the numbers that Raw is doing, but Raw's declining rapidly. Yeah. You know, there's all this talk of demographics and all that sort of stuff. And if I'm being honest, I don't fully understand it, so I'm not going to get into it. No. Uh, I look at numbers and I don't look at ages <laughs> or whatever. I don't, I, don't I, I just don't get it. But no, um, yes. you know, AEW, the quality of their show has just been phenomenal and continues to to get better week in week out. And um, I'll always be a WWE guy. Yeah, same. Um, so you know, I'll always watch Raw and SmackDown every week. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. It's very easy to see the direction that AEW is going, and that's uh, the correct direction. Yes, good. NXT, of course, is always excellent as well. Oh yeah, NXT is always you know super consistent, really, really good. And I'm delighted that Keith Lee is the uh, the NXT champion. Yeah, uh, did exactly what I said he would do and relinquished the North American Championship. Yeah, yeah, called it. Um, but you know that'd be cool at Takeover Thirty SummerSlam weekend. Yeah, basically, you know, wrestling wrestling's great at the minute. You know, it's it really has gotten us through a difficult time yeah regardless of what you watch when you watch it you know um whatever your style of wrestling is whichever your company of choice is 
you know, it's been there when a lot of other things haven't. You can't go to the cinema, you can't go to football matches, you, you know, you can't do any of that stuff. But wrestling has always been there. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful. Yes, me too. Thank you, wrestling. Yeah. Thank you, wrestling. We appreciate it. <laughs> We're still going to moan about you every week, but, you know, we appreciate it. This is just... Appreciate it. Keep it entertained. We're good or bad. Yeah, good or bad. We're, we're still here. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much uh, everything for this week. It was quite a long episode, this one. It was, about an hour and a half. There you go. People love yeah. the long ones. They do. Who didn't love a long one? Especially when they're... It's so <laughs> big and thick, it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big, long, thick, hard episodes. And uh, don't forget the, the hashtag beat off challenge. <laughs> the, the voicemail that we had from uh, Squinny earlier. Yep, yep. Hashtag beat off challenge. Yep. Get it trending. <laughs> that's it hit us up on twitter at games and graps we're uh tweeting all the time at the minute and uh just have just generally having a lot of fun yes with uh what we're doing i hope you are still enjoying the podcast we will try and get them out weekly but it's not always easy but when we bring them out we you know we bring them out with we have we have a great time doing it still yeah big time yeah and i think that's the most important thing if you guys enjoy it and we still enjoy it then you know we'll keep doing the podcast as long as you want us around Yes, you're welcome. Yes, <laughs> and we're grateful as well. Yes, big time. Thank grateful you, guys. Grateful to those that uh, keep coming back. Yes, it's appreciated. Yes, absolutely. But for now, this has been a brand new episode of the Games and Graps podcast, a wrestling and video game podcast that posts on podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. We will speak to you next time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm Sonny. I'm Finn. All right, and we'll catch you later. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you much. Goodbye.